So in the video I made yesterday, a lot of students in the comment section said, Sir, a lot of us are writing board exam and NEET exam simultaneously this year. Please tell us a video in which, please tell in a video in which we can manage both the things because there is a lot of pressure. So I am creating this video for those students who are writing board exam this year and are going to appear for NEET 2021 for the first time, right? First thing that you need to understand is you should not compare yourself to anyone else, right? If you are going to compare yourself to your friends, to uh, videos on YouTube, what you should have done till now, all of that is completely useless. It will only give you more pressure and you don't require pressure. You require a calm mind. You require a peaceful mind. Second thing is I'm going to explain to you what this 54, 35, 25 means. This is, these are the dates of the exam. This is as per CBSE, right? This is as per CBSE. Then I will explain to you in this video, what are the things you should complete by the time your board exams are over and how to manage these three blocks that are there, 54 days before NEET exam, 35 uh, before board exam, 35 days during board exam, and approximately 25, 30 days, whatever the days are based on what finally NTA decides. The time available from board exam to NEET exam, finishing board exam to NEET exam. So let us, let us get going, right? So these are the days available. Again, as I said, this is as per CBSE. From now till 4th May, 54 days, 35 days, 4th May to 8th June, and approximately 25, 30, whatever days, NTA decides that uh, this is when NEET exam is going to happen. These two days are confirmed. This is still to be confirmed, right? These are the dates of the exams. 4th May English, 18th May Chemistry, 24th May Biology, 31st May Maths, if you have Maths, and 8th June Physics. What this tells you is that you have time in between to revise these chapters that you will prepare for board exam. So what I'm trying to tell you is, first thing that you need to understand is whatever I'm explaining in this video assumes that you are preparing both for board and NEET exam. It is not as if you are just preparing for board exam and I don't think it should be the case that you are just preparing for NEET exam. If you do badly in your board exam, you will permanently lose confidence that you can crack NEET exam also, right? So this is the first thing that you need to understand. Second thing that you need to understand is theory, which is basically NCRT, is the same for both board and NEET exam, right? You have to do subjective questions for your board exams. Correct? And you have to do MCQs for your NEET exam. If you are serious about first attempt, when you are preparing for your board exam simultaneously, you will also practice MCQs for whatever chapter you are studying. If you are not preparing, then don't say to yourself that somehow God will help you prepare for NEET. If you are targeting selection in first attempt, it cannot happen that you studied a chapter, but you did not practice MCQs for it. You have to do theory, which means watching videos, taking notes, reading NCRT. This becomes your theory, right? Then subjective question and then MCQs. One, two, three, all three you have to do. Otherwise, uh, if you have said to yourself, I'm not going to prepare for NEET this year, then forget about it. Just prepare for board exams properly. That is okay. Give NEET exam next year or go to NEET exam this year, but knowing fully well that you, you don't stand any chance to crack NEET. But if you are preparing for both NEET and board, whatever chapter you are studying, theory as well as this, as well as this, you have to do all these three, right? Now, the second thing that you need to understand is, you have to follow a priority system. This is where I come to the second screen. This is the sequence or this is the priority that you have to follow. Okay. First focus on your class 12 syllabus, which is 46 out of 96 chapters. Only after finishing these, then you go to the next thing. So, This is your priority one. I've also included eight chapters of bio and chemistry, which are not in your board exam syllabus, but are going to be in your NEET syllabus, right? 
do these as well if you want to do them at the last that is okay but this is your priority number one priority number two are what i call connection chapters connection chapters are those class 11 chapters which are going to help your preparation for class 12th also i've written those connection chapters here motion in a straight line motion in a plane laws of motion work energy power gravitation because this is the concepts are very similar to electrostatics so do this as well as well as oscillations right these are your physics six chapters i have written six out of 14 chapters in chemistry these seven chapters some basic concepts of chemistry structure of atom classification of elements and periodicity chemical bonding redox reaction organic chemistry some basic principles and techniques hydrocarbons only after you have finished priority one both from NEET and board exam perspective then you come to priority two and this is your priority three balance 11 chapters and in bio these chapters will help your preparation in class 12th right but priority one priority two priority three if you are only able to do priority one that is okay don't worry a lot of students i uh, i am an example i did not crack iit in my first attempt i dropped once and then i got into iit delhi a lot of students i was one of them who is not able to lot of students are not able to manage both board exam and neat exam simultaneously don't worry about it that doesn't mean you're not going to become a doctor that doesn't mean you're not going to crack neat if not uh, this year you will crack it next year but you have to keep a calm mind you have to keep a peaceful mind and you have to follow a priority after you have done this then only do this then only do this hopefully you have understood this i cannot tell you very specific things because every student would be at a different stage of preparation you have to assess yourself and decide what is best for you at what pace you should go now let's go to the next slide i told you these are the three pots of days that are available for you 54 days before neat exam again i'm going as per cbse right complete syllabus of class 12th in these 54 days whatever chapters are remaining both from the perspective of neat exam and board exam set two week micro targets and give mock tests don't stop giving mock tests you have target system functionality available you can also use dpp generator to fix your weak areas but don't give up the habit of not don't give up the habit of writing mock tests if you're going to give up your habit of writing mock tests it is going to hurt you very very badly in your neat exam right Try and cover connection chapters also if you have finished priority one chapters. In these 35 days, only revision of class 12 chapters. Don't touch class 11 during this time, you will unnecessarily feel pressure. In this time, don't do any revision. Revision, keep for this time. You have a lot of time in between exams. See, you have a lot of time in between exam, 14 days from biology to physics, 14 days from English to chemistry. So use that time to revise class 12 chapters, but again, both from NEET and board perspective, which means do practice MCQs, do look at your bookmarks, go through your flashcards, right? Practice DPPs, use them. And study class 11 chapters only if you are super confident of the exam. If you're not super confident of the exam, please don't practice, don't go to class 11 chapters. And after this, after board exams are over, balance class 11 chapters. For some students who have not prepared at all, this might mean 50 chapters of class 11th remain. Those who have prepared, have been preparing for some time, it might mean they might have 10 chapters remaining. But don't compare yourself to other people. It is okay that you're not you did not start very early. You have a lot of chapters remaining. Whatever has happened has happened. Now we are at a certain stage. Based on this, what you should do in the remaining time, there is still a lot of time remaining. If you do this method, you follow priorities, priority number one, two, three, you will not feel the pressure unnecessary. Priority one, priority two, priority three. Do keep setting targets, micro targets, 14 days, keep writing mock tests and you'll be okay. So tell me in the comment section if you have understood what I'm trying to explain in this, but this is how you can manage, feel comfortable 
and don't waste your time looking at other people and getting demotivated he has prepared so much i have not done much that is perfectly useless if you want to waste your time if you want to kind of uh, waste your exams do that i'm not recommending it i would say assess your own uh, preparation understand where you are and based on that create this plan for the remaining days look at these three parts decide what you will do in this time decide what you will do in this time this i have explained what i am recommending and decide what will remain in this time and you'll be okay don't worry about it any questions you still have write in the comment section and i'll try, uh, try and answer it but have confidence in yourself don't look at others and you'll be okay all right students